Amen. Amen. Today we'll be talking on this subject of leadership. Leadership is a very broad topic. And God went on to perfect it into our lives. You must believe that you are a leader. And a leader, according to the word of God, is all about sacrifice. If you are looking for a leader, he said, I am looking for a sacrificial lamb. Come out. A leader is a sacrificial lamb for others to find their way. For others to find their way. Hallelujah. You must be one that you have laid down your life without pay. Sacrifice means no reward. Mark it in your hand. No reward. We don't serve to be rewarded here. We are serving to be rewarded in heaven. Our reward, our services here is to pass our way to meet God. And a leader must be safe. You cannot lead when you are not safe. We are talking about spiritual. You must be safe. Hello? If you are not safe, you cannot serve. We are saved to serve. And because we have been set apart now to serve others sacrificially, what you are carrying back home, a leader is a sacrificial lamb that God has picked among people. <laughs> So tell me what I never, never. I am a sacrificial man. I am a sacrificial A leader gives all to see that God works down. The business of God on earth stands. You don't play game in order to keep the business of God. No way. You must be saved that whatever leads you is to cause others to be saved. Oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah. Are we together? Our teaching today is based, leadership today course is based in Genesis. Because all the books in the Bible teaches us about leadership. So we are beginning with Genesis and we are talking about Genesis. Leaders in Genesis. Remember? The greatest book ever written on leadership is the Bible. So if you want to lead as a believer, study. Study what the Bible says, which means in the same Bible, Whatever you want to make research, the Bible is stronger than Google. Because whatever you want to Google, Google the Bible, you see it. Yes, sir. If you want to live on life study, read the Bible. You will see people who have light. <laughs> light. Leaders that have light. If you want to have free access to fornicate and commit adultery, read the Bible, they will tell you how to commit adultery very well. But the result of whatever you do, the repercussion is just at your corner. Not tomorrow, just today. If you want to be a liar, read that same Bible, you will lie like others leaders lie. But the repercussion is just at your corner. If you want to be righteous, you want to live a holy life, there is none righteous. You 
you start to read the whole Bible, you start to see weaknesses of leaders, but I want to tell you there is one leader that has been here on this planet Earth that has lived a righteous life without spot nor wrinkles. His name is Jesus. Follow his pathway. God himself calls us to leadership. God has called everyone that he has chosen to lead. You have your own level to lead. You have no reason to justify where God has placed you. Everyone called to lead has a purpose he or she must fulfill. We all we have a purpose. Whether you are big, young or old, you have a purpose why God brings you in here. Can I talk to you? There are financial leaders in the church. <laughs> if you set them in the area of prayer, you will not see them. They will not call for that. But the one thing you must know is that those financial leaders in church, they must also be saved. For whatever they do without being saved is a waste of time. On that day, you will say you build the church. I supply all the needs of the people. In fact, see that one there about the cars to ease that journey. And God will tell you, get thee away from me, walk out of iniquity. Which means, before any position you have in church, the first thing is judge your salvation. If you judge and it is not fixed, strive to fix it. Do all to repair it because the repairable God is always there by you. As in Joel chapter 2, if you read from verse 22 right now, he said, What the canker worm has destroyed, caterpillar chop it, I call. As you appear before me, I will respond. Leaders, this 2021, we are called to repair and to repair. Anybody. Because you move with Ghana peace in your heart. All you have is to tell somebody, shift here and stand here. Nobody finds you back. This year, we uproot. Why God did not judge it well, uproot? Why does spirit man accuse you of uproot? As a leader, we have one Roman mother, Jesus. Is our role model. The Bible talk about Samuel. The Bible talk about the, uh, Joseph. The, the Bible talk about all that potential leaders and call them so powerful. But we want to look on the other side. They have weaknesses. Samuel stood before Israel. Judge me if you see any weakness. Then call me a liar. And people say Samuel was like this. Who's like this? If it was like this, the Bible said, Parents, teach your children the way of the Lord. So when they shall grow, they will not depart from it. Ask the book of Samuel and Samuel himself. Show me one of your children that succeed and lead in Israel, if you were a leader. The Bible said, The children of Samuel become useless. Hello? Do we read our Bible? So a leader must stand firm in order to correct what is going to be him. So we are talking about an example. So what do we need to perfect? As we are living there, people are searching your errors. Nobody clap for the good things, they clap but for bad things. So leader, you must always have behind you that people are watching to give back records about you. So every day, try to correct. This year, 2021, may no one of us be left behind. Amen. I did not hear your email. Amen. You, you look as a leader. When you know that you are a potential leader, you know. If God calls you as a leader, you know. Anything you do, they fight you. Even in the house, they fight you. That's right. 
Among people, they fight you. In the church, they fight you. Everything you touch, they fight you. It is because there is a grace, a covenant grace that you carry. That is the cause of the fight. So keep pressurizing. Don't give up. There's a place of connection. I said there on Sunday, break that. It was our message. If you deny to break that today, break that means repent. If you deny to repent today, no matter the message preached, no matter what people say, openly they say it, openly deep and that, until everybody is saying, and you deny, forget it, the master who owns you will surely appear. When you will appear at the junction, by the time he finishes with you, you will be coming back the same. You will be coming back the same. The things that you said you should do, you deny to do. You will do it and give it a back. You will sorry to do it. Repent it now and brought your life before that comes. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Are we there? Oh, yes. Mm, we are talking about leadership as a sacrifice. Which means sacrifice. Which means as a leader, your priority is God and God and final God and God. Only other thing will not be like that. Your job should not take the place of your God's service. That's an example. Nobody should tell you this is a remind you of what you ought to do. Because you are the head. You are the lamb. You are the salt of the earth. Everyone will take something from you in order to follow. Hello? You look call and tell somebody I was so busy. In fact, I was going to my parents. I'll be done and try now you did not come. Who is your messenger? Remember, a leader is to serve. A leader must to serve. You look as a leader, whosoever stands by you is a helper. You are the sole authority. So we just come to help. If you keep looking at that person, you fail. Because nobody that comes to help. This book, when we're going through, you are going to hear more about leadership that breaks me. It makes me cry. So I accept him today as a father. It is not easy to be a leader. It is not bread and butter. God does not take one day to make you a leader. God takes years and decades to That's give you right. leader from birth. That's right. Your leadership was worked in the room of the spirit for decades. Before you were formed in your mother's womb, God began preparing you as a leader. Hallelujah. Amen. Despite your distance. I'm not talking about worker. Everyone is a worker. But you sitting here, you are the one leading. Tell them what? Lead. Lead. And uh, our leading is not as compared with the Canaanite leading. Our leading should be a leading that God leads us. Press Master Jesus. Are you there? Luke chapter 14, verse 26. If you want to be my disciple, yes. you must hate everyone else by comparison. <laughs> Your father and mother. Thank you, thank you. Listen. If you want to be a leader, you must hate everybody. Hate. That's a part of Jesus who said it. Jesus who said it. Don't hate everybody. Because if you, if you say you will love everybody, eh, you will never be the will of God. Because nobody will ever appreciate you. Rather, they will fight any good thing. So when you know I am a leader, beg for what is right, nobody will love you, including everybody. So God will prepare your mind. Really this season, whether they embrace you or not, keep moving. Hallelujah. You want me talking to somebody here? Yeah. Read it, sir. Your father and mother, mm. wife and children, hate them. brothers and sisters, hate them. Yes, even your own life. Even your life. Yeah, for Jesus. Say, so even your own life, if you want to adore your life, or manage your life, or take care of your own life, you are free. Hate your own life. Because when you start to pop up in that day, I don't feel you, Nana. Feel you, Nana. If you want pleasure, they like to give you.
to Nana, and from this moment when you start it, you have lost your will, lost your position, lost your purpose, lost your leadership, lost your focus, and you see you moving behind time. He said, Iggy, hate your own self. Because there's some errors that we commit as leaders. You ask yourself that even is from the school, we don't do that. Apostle Paul said, the things I hate, I always see myself today. You cannot buy all this. So hate your own self. If you start to hate yourself, yourself will, will submit to you. We say, sir, if you the way you hate me, they say you last kill me. Yes. Hate yourself. If you like starting to get. I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Otherwise, you cannot be my disciples. And if you cannot do, and, and if you do not carry your cross and follow me, you cannot be my disciple. This is the deed that God will give you. The assignment that He gave to Jesus. Jesus said in John chapter 20, He's passing it over to you. As His Father has said to you, he has passed it over to you. His lifestyle, he has passed it over to you. His humility, he has passed it over to you. His genuine love for one another, with no faith, he has passed it over to you. His committed to his father in heaven, this committed spirit, he has passed it over to you. He said, as my father said me, I do send you. Am I communicating here? This is the exact word Jesus Christ was talking to his leaders. Verse 28. But don't begin until on, on you count the cost for who would be begin construction of building without first calculating the cost to see if there is enough money. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't struggle to be a leader when you don't know the cost. The consequences of leadership is not bread and butter. It is not soft. Hallelujah. The cost will be there because the cost will be there. Number one cost is God to Abraham. Burn out from their kids, separate from their family. Child. Papa has so this matter. God is dead to us. What do Why do you not say, Lydia, give the baby to your husband? I'm sending you to Bafuku. You'll be there for six months till the farm repairs. And give his life to Jesus. Husband said, God forbid. That was not our contract. You should have it in mind that as a leader, God will appear to you one day. That's why you must hate the things you love so that when God will appear, those things will not bury you. Amen. Those things will not resist you. In fact, you will be going with all trust and all commitment. Nothing holds you yourself. John Clark is said, I came to the world naked. I am going back naked. None of my family member or job or activity was tied to my body. So if God has taken them off, naked shall I return. I pray, may we find a heart that is empty, that needed only the Holy Spirit to fill it, that we may not have desires for the things that will strip us back. I pray, may you be free in Jesus' name. Amen. It is not easy. God is faithful. Amen. Righteousness of God is faithful. It's a matter of decision. I am talking to you and I am talking to myself. We are rising up and we shall prove it to God that we are ready for this mission. Hallelujah. When you are doing this thing, Jesus is telling you, this journey you have stepped up to take as leader, this position that you have come up to take as leader, remember that there is no turning back. I did not hear you say amen. amen. You will be battered. Situation will hit you. You get to Jesus with 20,000 in your bank account. But now you don't even have service to wear. And you are going back to that uncle that you come and preach. That did you like to do the when the fire was burning? He said, with this fire, check that fire first. Because how long will that fire burn? Before you start to release this fire, be saved first. So when you are saved, you will not be releasing fire and break from time. The fire will be coming all the time. Poverty fire is coming. Rejection fire will be coming. Situation happen, fire is no 
move. Readers, no matter how many times things hit you, remember that there is somebody ahead of you. Say, so rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Always see that person before you. You will never stand. You will never retreat. Can I hear you? Amen. Amen. You can never be a pillar of stone when you are keep going. You can be a pillar of stone when you go back. I have prayed as a leader. No matter how the situation is at heart, smile at it. Allow peace to reign. When you give peace to your enemy, you kill your enemy with poison. You did not hear me. Yes, when you give peace to your enemy, you make the enemy walk on losses. Somebody did not hear me. Yes. When you make peace with your enemy, your enemy will pay debts that you have not given. Somebody did not understand. Before your enemy is coming to fight you, you don't go hire weapon for 20 million. You don't go and so hire soldiers who will pay the 20,000 for every day for the battle. You don't go borrow, borrow, borrow issues to come and fight you with it. So he has that which he knows that when he come and meet you, he will take your life, sell back and pay, take your minerals, sell back and pay. But when he comes, you just wipe his mouth off. Oh, I'm not ready for fight. Amen. I'm not ready for fight. Why organization will come and say, the fighting war? So war, stop. How do you pay back those debts? So you give back your enemy. That's pay. Amen. Your life is free. Your people are safe. If I'm talking to you, shout amen. amen. In this student, no matter how they rise up against you, make peace. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And when the man make peace, when you are making peace, your enemy are going back frustrated. The jet fighter they have, the caterpillar they brought, the trucks that they're moving in, the drug can and give them to now for you to go back. Depressed. So glory, we don't even move. These pieces are not really like happy. They are fighting and coming. We don't even move, show this for the perfect. But the people, they come, they empty hand to wave the flag. And war, her organization, UNESCO, whatever, say we need to shoot government and go Peace, this is whatever knife of people that is in your purse. Remove it and throw. Remove it and throw. So you can be a good leader. And the heart of removing it and throw is the Holy Spirit. Peter never removed the knife. Peter never removed the knives. And the apostles, they were also apostles, the disciples, leaders with Jesus, they were also holy knife, not only Peter. The way the Holy Ghost came over them, leaders asked for the Holy Spirit. From the day the Holy Ghost encountered Peter, knife disappeared. I am speaking, we need the Holy Spirit. The best weapon we need. The weapon of our warfare and our power. But mighty through God, by pulling down every strong hope. Because when you start to give your all to God, there are some things that God will be fighting in the name of the Spirit and they are coming to submit before you. Don't fight back. Never, never, never. Don't fight back. The people will rise up to fight you. Where you find your people is on your knees. Yes, sir. Well, I do not hear somebody say oh, yes, amen. Just go on your knees. Begin to speak back. Say, Father, fight for me. I am empty. I am helpless. No God, Father, no God, Mother, but I am yes, not the man sinner. Where my help comes from. And the God of Jerusalem will rise up for you. Amen. He's not sleeping. He will rise up. If you cannot find a bring big brother from somewhere to come and crush your enemies. Amen. Leadership. God has already called you to lead. Tell your neighbor, you are the leader. Speak to your neighbor, you are a leader. Speak to your neighbor, you are a leader. Leadership is for everyone. Pay your neighbor. Leadership is for everyone. For everyone that accepts Christ is a leader. A leader.
that passes what he has received unto others. Don't say, I must obtain a certain category, a certain level, before I can begin to preach the gospel. You are free. Jesus said, when you receive today, how do you know your heart? Don't you know we do? Read a prophetic Bible. He said, when you receive it, how do you know your heart? Don't you know we do? As the seed dies in your hand. Every day we run, we pray, carry instruction, go back home, sleep, and die. It cannot be with fire again. But when you receive it from the church, as a leader, hold the seed. It is fire. It is ready to bear, it is ready to get roots. As you plant it, it germinates that very day. The Lord said, Don't deliver it for tomorrow, maybe two days. What made our seed not productive is because we want to anticipate it. By this time, by next year, when I will start to preach the gospel, you preach what? All the seed has died. You are having the same as letters. It has no force. The spirit in the message is the spirit that when you saw the message, spirit in the message called to you. Very good. But when you carry it home, sleep over it, you brush the seat, you brush the plumes, you kill them all. The next day, you start to think there is no fire. The good Samaritan woman in Luke Gospel, the Bible said, John Gospel, the Bible said, as the woman received it that very day, he gave no return back home. He did not go, she did not go back home. She did it. She never returned home. As she got it, it was a fire. It was ready to be planted. Whether it was a rock, rock must give way. Amen. Who get to that? To come to what tree? For what tree? Jesus Christ began to walk out. And that's how Samaria began to receive salvation. We are talking to somebody say, Amen. 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 We are missing. We want to gather. We want to go and keep. You're keeping one. Is it close? The word of God, the Bible said, it is right. The word of God is life. It's spirit. It's life. Oh, you know that? Preserve it, it dies. It needs to be growing. It needs soul to grow. It needs blood to grow. The word of God grows in blood. When you speak it in the life of somebody, it gets hot to that person, it starts to grow. But when you allow it, it becomes dormant and weak. It does not have when you give us no strength, it falls off. We should know that leaders are called just to influence others. We are called to influence others. A leader must influence because God is the ultimate leader. He has called you to influence others because what God puts in you, He wants you to put in order by all means. Use every means possible that the gospel must go to somebody. Every means, not evil means, every means possible. When I take you to sacrifice, to buy a soul, give money. You give your shoe, we so wear. To remove your best coat and give your soul to wear. To wear. And when they wear, there is many means that your gospel can penetrate. Look, let me tell you, those stubborn uncles in the village, don't preach the gospel. My uncle can read your own gospel. They don't do well, I'm giving that one. That uncle, I don't do all things. Now, why? You have not done everything. You do all things, but not everything. Hallelujah. Sacrifice. A leader. Leadership is all about sacrifice. I use all means to serve because it is my vow. I do in the new world. Go back to the uncle, start to think. What do you have that uncle do not have? The uncle they rejected you because they are not eating anything from you. It's 
with a mindset, you cannot take it from them. Go to your bank account. You have 10,000 to 20 or 50,000 in your bank account. Remove 15,000. Buy your uncle a good shirt, a good shoe. As you are buying, if you are speaking, Father, I convert this material to your world. As my uncle will put it on, let him have no rest. Let him feel peace to, his, to receive me. You did not hear me. Uncle, daddy, how was it? Happy New Year. How did you do? But no. Sorry, sir. I'm not really supporting you all this time. I'm sorry, uncle. I'm sorry. That alone brings down God. That's why uncle went to hear first. You must admit that you are saved. For take care of me, uncle. Admit it. <laughs> that witch, which is uncle, leave witch. For you to kill that witch, you must give him something before you kill the witch. Yes, give him love. Uncle, this shoe, this socks, so the person I wash it. I know you are hating one and kept it. Yeah, and then I want to pay for the search for your uncle or village. So now I know you are, I cannot, I cannot. This is gospel. To be a leader, you must lay a platform. All people must climb on it. All class of people must climb on that platform. Oh, yes. Leadership. Leader must cry, but no retreat. Go to your mother. He said, For my yoke, I give you his God. Only death, but it's like you. That like you must off. Someone say you. That means you have no income as a two beginners living at any hour. Now, I get that. That church, the only Jews, Jews, Jews. Now, the one shows them a few don't have. Jews, Jews, Jews. Blood pressure, sugar, diabetes. So, a short form of sickness, which is mad. And another child, I was watching, I was reading a novel. I was reading a novel. A boy of about 12 years, that was caught up with fire as he heard the gospel. He came and saw, coming back from evangelism, saw the grandfather who smoked quite now. And uh, when the boy began preaching the gospel to the father and pointing out that cigarette is dangerous, the grandfather looked at the boy and finished talking. He laughed. He was a quiet man. Look the boy. He asked the boy, where is your father? Which was Papa's own son. So the boy died three years ago. So where is your mother? Mother that who is taking care of you? Grandfather. It is this quiet man. If I'm not smoking, I won't have reached this age. <laughs> Beware when leaders make error. And you then you go to correct the error. The more group allow leaders, superior leaders, correct leaders. When leaders the air, don't go you there. Don't ask them that man what happened. When leaders they begin to go in that direction, if you are not strong, be careful before you go not give you them. I'm not communicating. When a leader breaks, when a leader falls from the grace, when a leader you don't see in church, allow the leader run to another superior leader and tell the superior leader that our leader we cannot find. Let the superior leader go to look for a leader. Yes, Your own is to pray. Oh, yes. I didn't know you were amen. Yes. Because the moment you go in there, they will sit you down. Before you know, the leader will take your body, put it on that chair. You will cry down. You start swimming with this. You are talking to somebody, so you are talking to me. When you discover that there is a problem from your leader, go to God in prayer. Look for a superior leader that you can say something is wrong. Let the fathers meet leaders. Come on, Jesus. Yes. 
above all. And leaders must be humble. You cannot lead when you are not humble. Humble does not mean humble, quiet or gentle. Humble means to find time to explain what is right to somebody. Sacrificing time for somebody. That is humility. Amen. Strive to listen to others. Strive to be patient to hear others to also complain. Hallelujah. That is leadership. Everybody has a mind, but you should know that there are principles that God wants you to must hold it. Humility. Clap for Jesus in your hands.